everyone. Bill Fairman here with Carolina Capital Management. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Uh, I want you to please like and share us with your friends. Get the word out. Uh, we also have archived videos. They're either going to be at the top of the page, the side of the page, or the bottom of the page, depending on what platform you're on. So another frequently asked question that we get is about uh, the market. You know, they want us to use our crystal ball. You know, I've been in the business 30 years. None of us know what's going to happen. <laughs> but you need to prepare yourself for the worst. You always need to look at what's the worst thing that can happen. And one of the things that are, are true, actually, there's two things that people need. And I, I always say the same thing over and over again. In any economy, people need two things. They need food and they need shelter. And when you're in the real estate game, whether you're fixing and flipping or whether you're buying and holding uh, or investing in multifamily uh, or investing in commercial property for that matter, you're always looking at what would be the most liquid of the groups of real estate and what would be the most valued by the most people. So if you're looking at the luxury market, there's only so many people that can afford to buy a luxury home. And when the economy does take a dip, you know, obviously those luxury homes lose a lot of value because you're limiting who can buy them from you when you sell them. At the same time, commercial properties are, are very similar. If you have a, what we call a special purpose or a single purpose type of a property. And I'll give you an example, a drive up uh, fast food restaurant, like a Sonic, for example. I mean, what else is that property going to be if that Sonic goes out of business? You're going to have to do major remodeling. You're probably going to have to knock it down and put up some other type of structure. Again, you're limiting who is going to be interested in buying that. So not only are you going to have to discount the price quite a bit to unload it quickly, but you're going to have to hold on to it for quite a bit of time without getting any income on them. So this is why I always try to focus on the affordable housing market. Now, every market is a little bit different, but in our area, in the Southeast, you're single family, you're looking at, uh, you know, around 300,000 or under, that's going to be your affordable housing market. And then in your, multi-family space, you're, you're looking for units, you know, one, two, three bedroom units that are going to be somewhere in the 150,000 per unit or, or under in a, in a price range. And why is that? Well, as markets go up, people in the rental space are going to want to start buying homes and they're going to be buying homes that are going to have to be in the lower price range because if you've been renting, you typically, uh, while your payments are going to be lower, you typically don't have a down payment or at least a high enough one. And you can still get down payment assistance and still be in, a, you know, an affordable spot with the single family homes. As the economy starts to go down and economies are going to do that. I mean, every, everything is secular and, and eventually, uh, you you know, right now we're doing well. I expect us to do well for going forward, but you, you know, you're going to have a downturn and you could always have what's called a black swan event, uh, some kind of political unrest or something that causes uh, a downturn in the economy. But that said, you're going to capture people on their way down from the luxury market in times that are tougher. And you're going to capture people going up that are improving in up markets and that affordable housing space is always going to be full. Uh, same thing with self storage. Um, it's kind of a hedge against itself. You're capturing people on the way up as they're buying more than they should because we're very, our, our consumer economy is we keep buying stuff and we have self storage places because we run out of place to put our stuff. <laughs> we don't want to get rid of it. So as, as people are moving their way up, they're filling up these self storage units. The other is true when, uh, 
when the economy goes down and you're having to downsize, you're getting these, these units to store stuff that's not going to be able to fit in your new smaller house. <laughs> I, I laugh about that because I have a storage unit myself. Um, we, we talk about $500 worth of stuff that most people keep in a storage unit for three or four years paying, you know, a hundred dollars a month for their $500 worth of stuff. But my $500 worth of stuff is really spe special. It has to be in a heated and air conditioned space. So I, I pay more for it, but my $500 worth of stuff is nice and comfy in all temperatures. So again, no matter what industry or, or what space you're in, whether it's rental or fix or flip, you want to just concentrate in the affordable housing space and you don't have to worry about booms or busts that you're going to go through. Um, your, your, your downside is much lower than it would be in some of these other spaces. Okay. So thanks again for joining us. Uh, don't forget to like and share. We have uh, video archives again in different places above, below, or, or beside of us, uh, depending on what platform. Have, have a great day. Bill Fairman, Carolina Capital Management. Thank you so much for joining us again. Really had an awesome time. I know Wendy did as well. Woohoo! So if you like what you heard and you want to see more, what do we do? You can hit one of these. I feel like the hippy dippy weather girl because we've got a green screen going on. So we could have a cold front moving in from Virginia or, right? <laughs> oh, come on. That's funny. I don't care who you are. So you can pick any of these other shows. We have some here. We have some here. We have some here. Just pick one, test it out, right? Yeah. Also, subscribe, like, and our website is easy. www. <laughs> That's a lot of W's. <laughs> CarolinaHardMoney.com. Tell all your friends.